Okay, I've got the cell or the plate stack removed from the, the cell tank. This is my first examination of the cell since I've had it in the vehicle for a while. And I really need everybody to see this. So I'm going to go to macro mode and zoom in close here. And see if we can get a good angle on these plates. Notice how inside the plate stack the five electrodes which are supported by the by the uh, rods that join them going across and hang it from from the top of the cell those have remained in place but the five neutral plates in between each of the electrodes have dropped down out of their original slots And that will explain why I've lost so much efficiency. Now, if you look at the bottom of the cell, bottom of the plate stack, you can see how the small um, braces that I put, up, put in there actually buckled and gave way under the weight of the five neutrals sliding down. So obviously the neutral plates have become detached the adhesive no longer sticks to the glue they just sit in the grooves created by the glue which is okay they can just sit in there but the fact that they are not adhered the weight caused them to cause them to slide down a little bit and buckle these braces that I've put in place so I need to put stiffer braces to hold those plates now in place push them back up and um, put some um, braces across the top as well to hold them in place and to seal off the edges of the plates. Ultimately what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking some goop adhesive and I'm going to be smearing it just along the edges top and the bottom edges going inside inside the cell to seal it electrically. I'll probably extend these braces across. Sorry, I keep moving in out of focus here. It's a little difficult because this is a fixed focus DV cam. Um, so I'm going to bring this across to about here. I'll bring this one across to about here. Leave a smaller opening in between and seal off the edges on that smaller opening because I really don't need that much that much of an opening to still allow the flow to pass up through through all of the all of the plates in the brick. Also, this adhesive right here. This started out clear. Notice how white it is. It still sticks to the acrylic. And actually, I don't think that's acrylic. This might be PVC. All I know is it's one eighth inch thick and I had it laying around. But one eighth inch thick is not enough to support the weight once this warms up. So making a couple of changes there as well. Um, underneath the cap you can see that this is held up pretty well. Those have not fallen down through. And the goop adhesive that surrounded the heat shrink on the terminals that go down to the electrodes have peeled away. So this is the effect of electrolysis on the adhesive, even on the plates. So the whole point of having the acrylic panels is to create a backing for the adhesive to, to stick to that will f just form the grooves for the plates. It's just an easily easy assembly technique. If I if I were to have my way, ultimately these acrylic panels would not be one eighth of an inch thick. They would be one quarter of an inch thick, and they would be processed on a milling machine with grooves to receive the plates. Precision machined grooves, an eighth of an inch deep to receive the plates and just slide them down and allow them allow them to slide within the grooves. Uh, they would be a fairly snug fit, but that would be the ultimate assembly technique for a finished model. But this being a prototype model, that's the uh, 
that's the assembly technique that I'm using and that's the one that I think uh, most can easily reproduce. So we'll keep going this way and uh, continue working towards a, a model that will stand up over time. Okay, the cell's apart and this is pretty interesting. Uh, when I took the bottom brace, uh, the brace off the bottom of the cell that was beginning to buckle under the weight of the neutral plates that were sliding down, I made the mistake of yanking on it and, and pulling on these um, attached strips of dried goop adhesive and they began pulling away because I was pulling pretty hard and then I made the mistake of not not slicing it across the bottom first before before removing these panels away away from the edge of the the acrylic so it started to pull the um, pieces of goop adhesive away from the side of the acrylic but I wanted to show you now now that that has happened I had to pull it off completely and I'm gonna have to uh, re-glue it but this is kind of interesting you can see how it has formed the grooves that the plates slide into and you can see about how tall those grooves are so the plates literally just sit down inside the grooves that remain and they are permitted to slide around a little bit even though it is a very snug fit and where the glue adheres to most tenaciously is the acrylic side panels which is where we want it of course the problem was under the under the weight and the heat created inside the cell the acrylic began to soften and warp and the plates slid down and uh, so now I'm in the position where I have to rebuild it a little bit so that's okay I don't mind all I need to do is take my tie wraps or my cable ties sorry and slip them in between here to even up the gap again I'll put new adhesive across the bottom of this I'll pull all these off put new adhesive on it and just lay it on top let it dry and then the next time at the bottom what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, let's go to macro again I'm gonna lay my braces in like this edgewise instead of sideways which will give it more uh, more strength to keep the plates from sliding out and then I can put an end cap to seal up the rest of the edges to make the cell more efficient which is the goal and here is my last observation for the day you will notice that what remains on the plastic where the adhesive was stuck to it has become extremely uneven and almost looks as though it melted. This is the intervening space between the plates. So whatever this plastic material is that I have chosen at random to build my side panels from obviously has a melting point much lower than what I need it to be because it has literally bubbled and deformed even though the adhesive stuck to it I am now on my way to Home Depot to pick up some more uh, 1 8 inch acrylic what I know to be acrylic rather than the mystery plastic which is probably low density polyethylene or something I don't know what this is but totally inappropriate and this cell when done will be housed in clear acrylic rather than the black mystery plastic oh well I should have this back in the, in the Toyota by next weekend <laughs>